Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 10 where I show you my plans for my team. But before we do that, let's see who's doing well in the Midnight Mule Mini League. In Game Week 9, the top scorer was Suk Dial, I may be saying that wrong, with the Mighty Ducks with a very impressive 94 points. That was with Treble Captain Palmer on 30, Embremo 15, Salah 10, and then 9 from Gvardiol, Saka and Jackson, and 6 from Lewis. And on the bench, Henderson and Beto. So that's 15 points on the bench, but those were unneeded points, just showing off, I think. And then top of our league is Robert Burt with Robsdale 11, with 93 points, another very good score. That was treble captain Embremo for 45, so well done for that. Chris Wood 13, Salah 10, Jackson 9, and... Bowen 7 and then on the bench Saka 9 but there was thoughts that Saka may not play what if he was only on for a few minutes so I can kind of understand that I guess as for me I'm all the way down in 390th I got 64 points that was with treble captain Harland 18 so it wasn't worth playing from a how many points did he get point of view but it was worth playing from a it's fun pressing a little button and hoping I get lots of points <laughs> point of view so always fun playing chips doesn't always work out though and then I got 15 for Embremo, 10 for Palmer, 6 for Lewis and 6 for Edison. I've had Edison for 8 weeks and that's his first clean sheet and then 6 points for Smithrow on the bench. So 64 points overall but I did take a 4 point hit so it's kind of more like 60 points but even with the hit I managed to get a very little green arrow so green arrows are nice. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that, actually. So looking at live FPL, I'm currently four points outside of the 3 million rank and I'm 11 points away from 4 million. But I've already taken 12 point hits so far for game week 10. So when the game week starts, I'm actually going to be outside the top 4 million. But that's OK. There's a long way to go and I'm having a good time. Also, you'll see I'm 187 from top spot. And if I can outscore the leader by seven points per week between now and the end of the season, I can still win the whole thing. Thank you very much to everybody who watches these videos. It's very much appreciated. And to those who like and subscribe and comment, but most of all, it's the watching that I'm thankful for. So I'm using other content creators as my benchmark. And on the FPL Game Week website, there's a content creators league. And so I can see on there that my team value at the start of last game week was 103.7. The average content creator was 101.9, so I'm 1.8 richer than them. However, I've got 507 points, the average is 540, so I'm 33 points worse off. But that's okay, because I'm a little bit richer, and there's another 29 weeks left. So I'm definitely expecting to beat the average content creator, that's for sure. In the Content Creators League on FPL Game Week, James from Planet FPL is currently top with 618 points. Very impressive. The reason he's been doing well is he doesn't have Haaland, so he's been able to spend the money elsewhere because those who do have Haaland have only got one goal in the last four weeks from him. And then second is FPL tips. I'm all the way down in 58th, there I am, which is now two points behind Yelena, absolutely worth watching her. And then of course the godfather of FPL content online, which is Andy from Let's Talk FPL. He's five points ahead of me. But I am ahead of Mark from Black Box. And I'm ahead of Sirtop as well. But with my 12 point hit, I'm going to be way down the table. I'm about two points from bottom with that. So I'll be among different people probably next game week. So what have I done? Well, I needed a bit of money. I think I had about 1.3 cash. I needed to free some more up. So Edison's been very disappointing, very expensive. I sold him. He was 5.5. And I brought in Fabianski, who actually played a game. So there's a chance that's going to be a playing keeper for 4 million. So I'll take that. And then Gabriel, he may be injured. He went off injured. And I think I got 6.1 for him. And I brought in Aiden Nori for 4.5 million. I did these transfers on Sunday because I could see uh, prices were likely to change and had the exact money to do what I wanted. And then Watkins, who has been very good for me, I bought him at 8.9. So I sold him for 9. And I brought in Chris Wood, who I know is flagged. And I actually wanted to bring in Visser, who was a bit cheaper and I could afford. But this year I'm doing quite a strict experiment where I'm trying to concentrate on having the most popular players. And Chris Wood 
is a lot more popular than Vista, so I'm going for Chris Wood. So of all these pennies that I saved up, I was able to take McNeil, who's flagged, may miss the next game, and bring in one Mo Salah. So that's very nice, because he's been punishing me recently. I don't think I've had him all season, so I'm looking forward to getting some points from him. So this is my team, how it looks at the moment. I'm not intending to make any more transfers this game week, but I may do, and I'll show you that when I get to it. So starting off with Salah, at home to Brighton, he gets to wear the old mule hat with his mate Trent Alexander-Arnold in defence. And then Haaland would just be the vice-captain away to Bournemouth with his mate Lewis. And then I've got Ramsdale. I've had him for weeks, but I've never played him. But he has actually been outscoring Edison because Edison's been getting noughts and ones, whereas Ramsdale gets twos and threes mostly. So he's in goal at home to Everton remote chance of a clean sheet but he might get some save points and it's him or Fabianski so it's Ramsdale and then I've got Aiton Nori at home to Palace I've got Smithrow at home to Brentford with his mate Rel I've got Chris Wood at home to West Ham then I also have Palmer at home to Man United and I've got Embremo away to Fulham so it's quite a nice squad the main premium I'm missing now is Saka but he's not massively owned at the moment. And it's possible in a few game weeks time, Haaland's ownership's going to go down a lot, in which case I may bring Saka in. But if Saka remains less popular than Palmer, Salah and Haaland, I won't be bringing him in, I think. And then on the bench, I've got Fabianski, Rogers, and I'm fine for him to come in if Wood is injured. And then Van de Ven went off injured last night. I bought him at, I think, four and a half. He's now 4.6 and he may be out for a few weeks. So I can afford him to go down to four and a half and it doesn't matter. But if he's going to drop another point to 4.4, then I will sell him because I care about the money and I don't want to be losing money on him. And then at the end, I've got bed and rack for Everton. As for the background picture, that's a vampire bat. Today's October the 31st. And I've got that picture there because he's got dodgy teeth. And earlier this week, a big chunk of one of my teeth broke off. So I've been to the dentist. I'm going to have to have a crown put in in the next few weeks. He's busy at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> Hence the picture. I really don't like going to the dentist. Nothing personal. I just don't like pain. And there we have it. That's what happened in game week 9. And what my 12 point hit has bought me for game week 10. I hope you have a nice game week 10. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs> 